after reading the story in all three versions, I looked up and said, what was happening along that border was that Cain was killing Abel. The tillers of the soil were watering their fields with the blood of Semitic herders. Of course, what was happening there was what has always happened along the borders of Taker expansion. The leavers were being killed off so that more land could be put under cultivation. Ishmael picked up his pad and opened it to his own map of this period. As you see, the hen scratches of the agriculturalist have swarmed over the entire area, except for the territory occupied by the Semites. Here at the border that separates tillers of the soil from Semitic herders, Cain and Abel confront each other. I studied the map for a few moments and then shook my head. And biblical scholars don't understand this? I cannot say, of course, that not a single scholar has ever understood this. But most read the story as if it were set in a historical never-never land, like one of Aesop's fables. It would scarcely occur to them to understand it as a piece of Semitic war propaganda. That's what it is, all right. I know it's always been a mystery as to why God accepted Abel and his offering and rejected Cain and his offering. This explains it. With this story, the Semites were telling their children, God is on our side. He loves us herders, but hates those murderous tillers of the soil from the north. That's right. If you read it as a story that originated among your cultural, your own cultural ancestors, it's incomprehensible. It only begins to make sense when you realize that it originated among the enemies of your cultural ancestors. Yes. I sat there blinking for a few moments and then looked at Ishmael's map again. If the tillers of the soil from the north were Caucasians, I said, then the mark of Cain is this, I pointed to my own fair or maggot-colored face. It could be. Obviously, we'll never know for sure what the authors of the story had in mind. But it makes sense this way, I insisted. The mark was given to Cain as a warning to others. Leave this man alone. This is a dangerous man, one who exacts a sevenfold vengeance. Certainly, a lot of people all over the world have learned that it doesn't pay to mess with people with white faces. Ishmael shrugged, unconvinced, or perhaps just uninterested.